Guys, welcome back to another Xcode 4.2 tutorial. And in the previous tutorials, we're going over some of the basics. And now what I want to show you guys is some of the basics of the view controllers and the views and the model. I don't know if you're familiar with MVC, but uh, go back and check out some of the other ones if you're unfamiliar with that. But I'm going to go over some of the basics here. Now, with what we did with the last tutorial, we basically adjusted the view. And then what we did, so we ran it, we saw that it changed the iPhone, then we could go over to the iPad storyboard over to the left, change that to be the same thing, and we'll get the same result of whatever device we're running on. Now what I want you to do is I want you to zoom out just a hair, and then I want you to select the first view there. And as you can see, it's labeled the first view controller. Now you wonder how, how did it get the same association with our files over to the left such as the first view controller dot h and dot m which is the header and the implement implementation or the source files that's going to control that view so if that doesn't make sense basically our view here is the elements or the objects on screen so a label a button and then the controller takes whatever the user does with those elements such as pushing the button takes those elo takes the actions or whatever they input into text field the controller then takes them over to our source files and there is where we have the methods that define what we want those to do so it's a little bit confusing at first but don't worry if you're if you're a little bit lost what i want to show you is if you click our view or the view controller here we go over to the right in the attributes or the utilities and we click on this kind of the center one the identity inspector click that you'll see that it is uh, that controller here this view is associated directly with the class which is first view controller and so then if we go click the second view controller you'll see that the class associated with this view controller or this view is going to be our second view controller classes over to the left so if you go over to the left, you can see we've got our first view controller and our second view controller classes. And if we were to edit stuff in those, we could tell our view and our controller what we want the buttons or the labels to do and, uh, and jumpstart our, our application. So that's just a quick demo course of how we get those classes. 